Okay, I'm gonna try to do a little video here, so bear with me, I'm doing this handheld, so I apologize for any jiggling or shaking of the camera, but I wanted to show you how to restart after a planned shutdown. Um, I am finishing up an all over edge to edge design I have on my quilt here, and you can see um, I went ahead and I did row five, which is all stitched out, did that last night, and I just ran out of time and energy, so I've really only got like one row and a partial next row to finish. So I went ahead and I advanced my quilt last night, just like I normally would. Um, I reclamped, so my side clamps are clamped here to my backing, and smoothed everything out, got everything all repositioned. I advanced with drag and drop, and I used my no needle in the quilt method. So um, I checked my alignment, made sure everything was ready to go, and literally, I, I did actually touch resume. And the reason that I touch resume is that would put my needle down into the start point of my next row. So I did that, and then what I did, that does your bobbin pull up, the down and up. Um, and at that point, I went ahead and I touched cancel, and I closed my whole system down. Before I did that, though, I did drop the needle right into the start point of row six. And if you look, not sure if you can see clearly enough here, there we go. Um, but you can see I marked the row, start point with a little blue dot, labeled it row six. So I left my machine like that, shut my system down, unplugged from my UPS, went to bed. Okay, it's now the next morning. I turned my machine on. I turned my Pro Stitcher on. And so now I'm going to go ahead and do file design and I'm going to open my all over edge to edge design which is this one right here it was the last design I had and I'm going to select it and now I have to baseline immediately remember we always baseline anytime we reopen a saved design or workspace so now I need to reposition this and you can see I have Pro Stitcher set to open a design to the crosshairs, which is why it opened to my crosshairs, which are my needle. Remember, crosshairs on your screen represent the needle on your quilt. But that's not where I want to start. I want to start way down here in this bottom row. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Pro Stitcher, new start end, and then... I'm going to jump my start point down and I'm going to actually zoom in. I'm going to use this button right here under the start column, the very bottom down arrow in the jumps box. That's going to jump my start point by rows. So you can see it here. If I zoom in closely, I'm touching that arrow. You can see my bullseye start point is jumping down to row six. So now I have the start point where I want it, but now I need to reposition the quilt so that start point is at my needle. So all I have to do is go to modify, reposition, and then in the right sidebar touch start point, and there you see it went ahead and repositioned my design so that I have one full row and then part of a second. So what I'm gonna do is stitch out this row and then I'll crop away any excess design because my row is, my design and rows are about 12 inches. So that's gonna take me to about here. So I'm only gonna have about maybe two and a half inches or so to stitch on the last row. So I will go ahead and create a new area. It'll be below the bottom edge of my quilt top. I'll probably start at about here, about a half an inch below. 
and I'm going to create that area so it's all below my quilt top and then I'll crop away any excess design I don't want to stitch out. So that's how you reposition, how, how you start correctly after a planned shutdown and get your new start point and reposition. So I hope that helps and I'll put all the steps in this video for you too.